Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 7 of the Adobe InDesign tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to import graphics and images inside of InDesign. So it, it's, uh, to import uh, images or graphics you can simply go on to a file explorer, now navigate to the folder where you, where you have the pictures stored in and just drag in the pictures just like this. So you can see that this is one way of importing the picture. You can also import multiple pictures by selecting the pictures by holding the control key on your keyboard and then dragging uh, it out on InDesign just like this. And you can see that now you can import multiple pictures just like this. So that is how you can import multiple pictures inside of InDesign. You can also get the same option over here uh, by uh, going on to the uh, import option right here. So just go to file and go to place right here. And over here you can navigate to the same option right here. Select the pictures that you want and press open. And then you get the option to import the pictures. Uh, you can click and um, just click over here. You can also select the pictures that you, you want to import by selecting the arrow keys right here. Uh, and you can see that it actually changes the pictures. Let's say, for example, if I want to add in this picture, just click and you can see that import, it imports that picture. I can also uh, click and drag uh, so that the picture is uh, actually in uh, a picture frame and it cro gets cropped down to the size that you want and if you do not want a picture you can just press the escape key and that will uh, escape out the picture so let me just select all of these and create something called a picture frame right here so I can have a rectangular picture frame over here I can have a elliptical picture frame just like this and now I can also have my polygonal picture frame just like this over here I can go to file and go to import right here. So just go to place right here and select the uh, pictures out here. And now what I can do is I can press open and now I can uh, click on different spots. So I can click over here, click over here, click over here and click over here. And you can see that the pictures get imported. I do not need these two images right here. So just press escape twice and that will uh, escape out the images. So uh, another option uh, that I can have while importing the images is by going to, uh, going to the place option right here, select the picture and you can see that you have something called replace selected item. So if I were to select the uh, image right here, go to file and go to place and uh, select another images, uh, another image just press open and that's, uh, that, that, that's where you can see that the picture actually gets replaced. And another uh, option that you have is go to this uh, place option right here, select the image that you want and then share, say show import option. And what that does, it shows a preview of the image that you want to import and you can also select the color space that you want. For example, you can go to Adobe RGB right here and press, just press OK and now it changes the color space into Adobe RGB and this is quite useful if you are uh, designing for print and or specific color profiles. So just click OK and this imports the color into Adobe RGB format. You can see that uh, the lines are quite jagged and these are not in high quality. So what you can actually do is uh, you can go to view option right here and then go to screen, uh, the, then go to display mode and over here display performance you can go to fast display uh, which only shows the wireframes. So this is quite good if you have a lot of graphics and you want to uh, go for a quick, um, uh, go for a very, very fast um, editing speed. So you can also go to view over here and go to display performance. Difficult uh, quality is a uh, default and you can also go to display performance and go to high quality display and you can see that it actually uh, provides high quality display of the images once you choose that but this actually slows down your work process but here what you see is what you get and even if you are on typical quality uh, what happens is that if uh, even if you are in this quality what happens is that when you export uh, it will be there in um, high quality itself. So that is how importing pictures works inside of Adobe InDesign. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.